The Taylor White Memorial car is outside. People are getting summer jobs. Textbooks are due to be returned. Hello and welcome to JDTV News. Today we have some sports information, weather, and some sufficiently adequate advice about books. All that and more on JDTV News. As of May 18th, textbook returns begin and all books must be returned by May 28th unless you're a senior, in which case your textbooks need to be returned by Thursday, May 21st. If you are not a senior and you do not return your textbooks by this date, you will receive tickets to the you will not receive tickets to the graduation ceremony. In addition to this, access to power school will be denied until books were returned. So the main point I'm trying to get across to you is that you should return your books. And after you return your books, be sure to pick up a yearbook. There's a limited supply of yearbooks, but you can get one for yourself at the activities office. A 2015 yearbook costs $85. But it's probably worth it. I mean, if you want to remember this past year, that is. You might not want to remember it. You might spend the rest of your years trying to repress the memory instead. I probably will. Who knows? The point is, yearbooks can be purchased in the activities office. See Alaska Heritage will be having an annual Latin Leadership Academy starting on July 6th and ending on July 19th. It will be held at UAS. Applications for this event are due by May 22nd or next Friday. If you want more information on this event, you can stop by the Career Center and talk to Terry Calvin. Now, on a more somber note, you've probably noticed that the Taylor White Memorial car has been outside in the parking lot since Monday. The car that is out front is the very car that crashed on June 25th, June 5th, excuse me, 2009. The car is put out there as a memorial to Taylor White and as a reminder to students not to drink and drive. Have you ever been alive during the summer? And you're just sitting there and you're really bored and you want money, but you're not a Kardashian? Well, have we got a solution for you? We sent Liam out this summer to learn about summer jobs. It's that time of the year again, where school is out, the sun is up, and you need to get off your lazy bum and find a job. But how do I find a job, you ask? Well, if you need help, you can go talk to Terry Calvin at the Career Center for more information. You should apply to as many jobs as you can, um, and that way you, you hopefully get at least one interview. Um, the state of Alaska does job applications as well, and theirs is a little different than the summer employment, but if you were just to plan on just one application and you didn't get that job, then you don't have any, any more opportunities. So you should apply to as many jobs as you can. That way you can pick and choose where you want to end up working for them once they've given you that opportunity. For all you prospective job seekers out there, the Career Center can be a very good resource. Like, for instance, these tips on how you can better apply for a job. Looking early, um, looking often, um, back to the make sure that once you do the applications that you use good penmanship. Um, maybe follow up with a phone call to just see if they got your application. Some of the tourism industry they really base it on um, your appearance and your comfort with, with others. Uh, so hands-on, walking in and, and introducing yourself is a good, a good thing. And now I hope to see a good number of you at your new summer jobs. Well, that was pretty great. I know what I'm going to do this summer. Now we go to Selma for sports. What kind of sports have we been having, Selma? Well, Selma. This past weekend, there were lots of sports, and even more wins. The softball team went to Anchorage last weekend with great success in the big city. They beat Homer 5-15 on Friday. They also beat Chugiak 16-4 on Friday. They went on Friday, they played Service and won 4-1. They beat Diamond 15-5 on Saturday morning. Our baseball team played Petersburg and won 4-0 on Wednesday. 
From hitting to kicking, on Friday, the boys' soccer team played Ketchikan and won 7-0. They played again on Saturday and beat Ketchikan 2-1. And now for the sports segment, I, Selma, will attempt to do one whole push-up. Well, that's all we've got for sports for you today. Now back to you, Selma. And now it's time for the calendar. Today, softball is in Sitka, track and field is in Ketchikan, and boys soccer is playing Thunder Mountain. Uh, tomorrow, the same thing is happening, and there will be Super Saturday makeups for PE. On Wednesday, there is a student recognition ceremony from at 12.25 and a music concert at 7. On Thursday, boys' soccer is in Ketchikan. Now, let's go to the weather. How's the weather looking out there, Selma? Pretty good, Selma. Today, it will be high, sunny with highs around 66, and tomorrow it will be partially cloudy with highs around 45, 65, and lows around 44. Looks like I won't be needing this anymore. Now back to you at the desk. Selma? Awesome. Thanks, Selma. Well, that's all we've got for you today. But if you want to check out more of this fabulous show, you can visit our website at jdhsvideo.org and follow us on Twitter at jdhsvideo. My name is Selma, and this has been JD TV News. Be sure to tune in next week for our special end-of-the-year edition of The Senior Show. Goodbye!